Hey there guys, gals, fans, and pals. Welcome back, welcome back. My name is John Megacycle. It's time for another Command & Conquer General Zero Hour Challenge. Pulling this one off of my website, MegacycleEntertainment.com. The link is in the description. And this one is from the Tesla 69. Uh, let's see here. Starting resources, highest amount. Let's get that going on here. 50,000. It's been a long time since I played with 50,000. Uh, let's see. Super weapons allowed is checked. Uh, so I'm not going to limit. So I can use them or whatever. Uh, you as tank general against one hard tank general, but you are not allowed to directly attack the enemy. Only defend yourself. Defend yourself any way you like. The only way you can attack the enemy is using the general rank weapons 1 to 5 star. Any map you like, good luck, and we'll be very interested in how you do it. Um, This could take forever. I have no idea how I'm going to do it. The tank general gets what? Artillery strike and mines? I don't know. Um, Well... I want to attempt every single challenge on my website, so let's see what happens, shall we? Tanks! Build more tanks! Artillery barrage. Oh, I could do the tank drop. He said any general powers. I do get carpet bomb. I do get cluster mines. That's going to be an interesting piece. I'm not too sure how I'm going to do it myself, if I'm honest. Uh, anyway, rules stand. We have $50,000. Build up the dozers. Get these things rolling out. There's no reason why we shouldn't. No reason not to tech up. Get a good amount of defense going on. I hate this map for that reason. It's sloped to crap. And I am going to defend myself any way I want, that's for certain. Oh, come on. This map is just uneven as hell, and I hate it. Now, because I know my opponent is the tank general, I do know for a fact that he has no access to artillery, which makes this a lot easier for me. Absolutely. No doubt about it. I'm going to be able to throw down a ton of defense in a very short amount of time, which is important. Um, I don't know. Listening outposts? I guess. I'm not sure in case there's aircraft. Now, I do want the nuke facility because there is tech to be had, I believe. Even if there isn't, I'm not going to launch it, but I still want one anyway. Cool. I like China for the way they can hunker and bunker down. There's a lot of good promise to be had with some really simple tech. And there's a lot that can be said about bunkering in like this. A couple of propaganda towers, we can really get something going on on the cheap. Kind of moving a little quick, not doing too much of the chatty chatty, you may have noticed. Uh, six, that's good enough. Dang it. I thought I had that dialed in. How far off am I anyway? By whole five. Ugh. That wasn't good. <laughs> Frequency. I like the big targets. 
I don't know if you can hear it, but behind me, my cat is snoring so freaking loud. Okay, there we go. Easy to set up. Easy to fix, easy to set up. No big deal. Um, one of these bad boys. Okay, the nuke. Do I get anything? Yeah, I thought I did. I wasn't sure if that was the nuke general or what. But, yeah, I get some stuff. So the only way I can get real promotion-y stuff is if he gets on the attack. And he has been a lazy tank general. Nope. Yes, this building is ours. Let's build. Building is complete. Nice location. We have big plans. So <clears throat> let's talk. Let's talk stratagem, shall we? Stratagem, stra whatever. How am I going to do this? Uh, the biggest thing I need to knock out is his command center and his dozers, which I'm hoping I can do with a very proper and quick level three artillery barrage carpet bomb. And then I don't know. I don't know if I want to use the tanks. That is technically part of my general power loadout. So I'm not breaking the rules from that regard, but I am breaking the rules about attacking directly. Which I don't I don't want to break the rules at all if I don't have to. But I'm sure there are going to be certain things that I just cannot get around. <clears throat> I'm really hoping this guy either attacks with MiGs or does something fun, because I am turtled in, like, ridiculously. And I can't do anything. That's kind of the bigger problem, is I can't attack. What I am going to do, however, is I'm going to bolster my economy ridiculously. China has been generous. And I always have my theory about the speaker tower being a boost for hackers. That may or may not be true. I don't care. The auto heal is kind of cool. Um, bigger thing about that even is... Oh, there's a ton of crap. Is that... Uh, they have so few hit points. That's what I was trying to say. They just have so few hit points. They'll die immediately anyway. But I'm going to be loaded up on the cash. Yep, that's what I wanted. Three or four bunkers shooting at the same time. They don't even get a single shot off. And I'll hopefully get my artillery soonish. And I could send that against them. And get some more rank. Oh no, your ECM tank. This is why I built the Gatlings. Oh, and he built a nuke too. Awesome. No idea how I'm going to get around this then. Rank 2. Rank 3. Awesome. 1, 2, 3. Yeah, we did, but she's dead, so who cares. Alright, I need to rank up hard. So let's do this. Get us some rank. So I'm going to have to start eating nukes. Which is not what I want for Christmas. So... Let's build a plan B. Considering I cannot attack directly, I want to make sure I have an infrastructure that will support me being nuked. Yeah, Gatling Towers all over the place. Making sure if anything gets dropped on my stupid head, I'm ready for it. This is what I wanted. And plenty, plenty, plenty of money. I wish there was another upgrade I could pay for to give them faster hacking or something. Okay. Dealt some damage there, screwed up his war factory, got me almost to rank 4. And there's rank 4. So... Ooh, in stereo. Stereo! Yeah, you got nothing. You got nothing, homeboy. Um, alright, so... Tank drop as a secondary? I don't know, I'm just really not looking forward to getting nuked every seven seconds. Uh, let's wait till I get rank five. Let's treat the battle drop, the battle master drop as a last resort. Wait a minute, am I up against a nuke general? Hmm. We have discovered an enemy black lotus. <laughs> lotus baby, you ain't coming through. Is that rank 5? 
A diggity daffodil. Carpet bomb. I'm out of offensive things to do. So this becomes a big problem. I mean, the mines don't help. EMP won't help. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to use this. I am using general powers. So, just to be straight up legit, these battle masters I'm going to drop, I am not going to use, but I will use them to attack directly. Like I don't I honestly don't have another choice. What I said over here, idiots. Anyway, time for nuke upgrades. I built for China. It will look real nice when it's done. Prosperity. I'm very serious about my infrastructure, and I'm even more serious about having enough of it to withstand a nuke attack. So I got four... I have four battle masters ready to rock and roll. I need to get to his command center. I think I'll carpet bomb here, clear this all out, push up with these battle masters. Now if I could use the nuke as well with the command powers and still not attack directly, that would be fine. But right now, the thing that sucks is there's absolutely no advantage to me turtling. Um, except, you know, money, money, money. And is she dead immediately? Yeah, of course she is. Can you come over here and fix up a few things? Could use a touch-up. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to do this in my current state, if I'm unallowed to attack. I chose this map very specifically because it would allow me to hunker in in such a manner, and against a tank general, there's not a whole lot of crap that's going to be thrown at me, which is good. Dude, what are you doing? What are you doing? Get behind the line! Yeah, his lack of artillery is what's going to keep me forever in the win. Because I don't see him using MIGs or anything. Um, I'm gonna, tr again, I'm gonna try to stick to my command powers as much as I can. I'm only gonna use tanks that are produced by dropping in more tanks. Cool. My tanks are completely maxed out, which is sad. Gosh, if this was even tone... I would just murder all his stuff. But I'm sitting on $30,000. I'm going to make back the 50 right about when I'm going to get nuked. Oh, oh, oh. Sneaky boy. Sneaky, sneaky boy. Oh, repair that first, please. That's far more important. Yeah, make that not on fire. Yeah, if I could use my nuke and support powers... That would be awesome. Now, he did have super weapons allowed checked. But it says the only way you can attack the enemy is using general rank weapons. So I'm assuming these. And the tank general doesn't get any mega overlord tank or something. So there's nothing new I could unlock and use. Just please, for the love of God, don't hit my tanks. Uh, yeah, that's fine. No real losses. Where is the battle? A few hackers, sure. But, like I said, I'm going to make that 50,000 back in no time. A lot of my bunkers aren't even destroyed. I just need to wait for this corrosive or this uh, radioactive stuff to go away. And we're back in the good. Hey, if you guys want to uh, not do nothing, why don't you get up there and help? Okay, I've got all my powers again. I know I'm not going to make it through this wall of crap. Um, would a carpet bomb make it through? Let's experiment. If the carpet bomb can make it through, I doubt it will, but if it flies over here... No. Nope, it's going to fly right over all the gat. No, no, actually, it's okay. Unit lost. Maybe? Let's see what'll happen. Oh, the dozer's going to get there faster. So if, if this artillery barrage damages at 75%, then I could kill it with a 1-2 punch. Um, speaking of 1-2, more tanks. Close. Oh, so close. That's kind of sad. I for China. No problem. We have big plans. 
China will grow larger, building the Chinese Empire. We will the kind of funny thing is he has no rank. Building the Chinese Empire. Cool. Horde bonus in the whole spiel. Let's build. A very good plan, General. China has been general. We have big plans. Now, how would I use a nuke in this situation if I were my enemy? Absolutely use it on my defenses. A spot right here. Wipe out this whole line, rush over here, or come down here. Even better yet, drop a nuke right here. Flush all this crap out, move in from the south. I, I've got no counter, you got me. You flushed all my defenses out. That would be how I would do it, if I were my enemy. Uh, since I'm me, that's certainly also a very strong candidate. Nuke right here, fresh area, right up and in. Hitting a base with your super weapon is always fun, but it's not always the best idea. Sometimes there's a better target that you're just not seeing. And that's not always true. Sometimes hitting the main base, especially if your enemy's doing like what I'm doing, clumping up little power resources and such, that can make a much sweeter target to take your enemy's base completely offline. But yeah, a couple of minutes, we're repaired. I'm sitting on more money than I started with. Yeah, things are looking pretty sweet. Okay, back here. Back here, I think I have added an extra Gatling or two. <laughs> Just as a, an even bigger up yours to the tank general. Um, he might have got, he got a barracks? Yeah, let's just go ahead and replace that. <laughs> I mean, he really didn't get much. Man, with all this money, overlords would just be such a treat. Oh, look at that! You didn't repair anything. <gasps> that artillery took out... The Dozer. Awesome. Very good. <laughs> like I said, though, this could be a very long game if I have to carefully bomb out stuff to kill him. Yes! Nuke offline. Took out a power plant as well. That's pretty sweet. The command center is going to be the pain. But that'll stop them from building Dozers. Oh, there's a... No one wants to repair this thing, really? Let's make sure my retirement is very good. Even if there was like a $20,000 upgrade for like the Omega, the Omega tank or something. Gives tanks 10% reflective armor or something. That would be awesome. Alright, he's got what, like five war factories? One, two, three, four... Ah, I threw five as a weird number, but that's actually pretty accurate. Oh, five. One, two, three, four, five. He actually does have five war factories. That's a little overkill. Let's build. Ah, yes. Hmm. Let's take a look. We have big plans. Nice location. Yeah, I'm bunkered in. This guy's got nothing on me. Like, Inferno Cannons would be such a delight to use as the tank general. Or any artillery whatsoever. You get ECM tanks, which makes sense. The frickin' word tank is in it. But aside from that, just brr. Hey, I warned you this was gonna be a long episode, didn't I? Like, right from the beginning, I warned you this was gonna take a while. I don't like the power plants that close. Eh. Let the guys in the bunker right there feel the the mighty words of China. Artillery barrage and carpet bomb is ready. I think this is what I want out next. Take out his money. Construction built to spec. Yes, yes, pay dirt. There went his money. No system is safe. No system is safe. No system is safe. Love that. 
I love I love taking it in a little bit. So took out what? Nuke? Uh hack center, internet center. Next is like the propaganda center if I want to keep teching him down. Uh, how many we got? Here? What is this, twelve? Shouldn't all these guys be getting the horde bonus? <clears throat> There we go. Sometimes you have to just reset it. There's these little, I'll call them glitches, in the game that it just, sometimes it just doesn't even realize what it's doing. <laughs> we have all the hackers. Awesome. I was wondering when that was going to hit. Uh um. Did they get everybody? Do it. I love sticking a bunch of these guys right in the corner and doing exactly what I'm doing. Just really load up on the money. Yeah, just leave them. They got really great Wi-Fi. Yeah. I, that's actually another reason why I like building the speaker tower. Is I always imagine in my head that that gives them a better Wi-Fi signal. That's why they can attack faster. You see? It all makes sense. Fighting for the Red Army. <clears throat> I have so much tank. If the enemy doesn't beat me, it's just because the AI is stupid. I'm not going to concentrate War Factories. I really want to concentrate the Command Center. Because then I can start shutting him, shutting him down piece by piece by piece. How long does this take? 5 minutes? 2.30? Cool. I can do 2... Oh, I can do another strike. Uh, take out some power? Unit under attack. Yeah, I don't. Um, I don't really think so. I almost wish the Propaganda Towers would also heal structures, even if it was like 2% or something really slow. That would be really cool as well. How about right there? I don't know what you're going to hit. If you come through this way, awesome. If you come through this way, awesome. I don't really, I don't care. Get some damage done. I know I can't go too far to the heart of his base because of the Gatling. Unit lost. Meh. I'll take it. I'll take it. That freed up some crap. I know I can take out the prop center with the artillery strike. I can hopefully finish off these two power plants in the next two minutes and 30 seconds. Ah, oh, for the next airplane strike. I could keep cranking out way more hackers. It occurs to me. Not going to use them. Just want to have them. How much power do I have anyway? Oh, yeah. 120 over 80. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm doing okay on the power game. But I need to spend this money. I'm breaking all the John Megacycle rules of if you have too much money, you're bad. Spend that money. Spend that money. Get you money. Oh, tanks. Now. Another four. I don't know why there's five dots. Not going to complain. And why? Why? I asked for it over here. We have big Freaking jerks. We will you all have horde. That's good. Construction oh. Whoops, sorry. Let's build. <clears throat> like, I want to be gatling -ficated. Eh, I got enough crap. Yeah, the enemy's just dumb. Like, they realize they cannot win. I'm bunkered in. Maybe this challenge is absolutely possible, even without the tanks. We will live in uh, somebody just got promoted. Hackers! Of course it was hackers. Who else would be getting a promotion right now? That's I have so many stop. dozers. I don't know what else to do. Look, if you're going to give me this kind of a challenge, it's going to take this kind of a long. Um, that goes away. That goes away. Hopefully, if I can get him offline, that'd be awesome. I'm teching him down, which will at least prevent me from getting nuked, because he's got to build a few more structures to get that again. Yep, that's gone. Not offline. That's okay. He just... And he doesn't have a dozer? He's just not rebuilt his dozers? I can finish that off then. 
<laughs> Forget that noise. Yeah, the problem is I can't come through this line anymore because of them gats. Get gats. I'm hoping I can get another surveillance sweep out of my internet center. That would be super duper. I just, I don't, I'm, I'm chewing on my fingernails because I don't know what to do. Like, honestly. I don't know if I should feel good that this is how this has turned out or bad, but I'm taking it. This is a victory. Regardless, I'm taking it. So, nuts to that guy. Challenge complete. Not yet. Maybe that was a little premature, but still. Challenge complete. <laughs> uh, what have I got now? 16 tanks? Oh, that's why that happened. Yeah, I might not even need them. Which would be really cool, because then it would be 100% completion on the challenge. There would be no alterations whatsoever. Yeah, that nest of Gatling is preventing my carpet bomb from doing much of anything. Oh, power plant right there. Could probably sweep and take that down. That would work out nicely. How long does it take for this sweep? Holy crap, satellite hack level 2 doesn't give me a timer. I think the text of it is just random sweeps of the area or something fairly vague. I don't even know. I could write a book. I don't, I don't even know. The Tesla, I hope you're enjoying this. Because, holy jeebs. Now, this challenge would have been significantly easier if I was America. Because A-10 Strike, uh, Mother of All Bombs, and there's a few things in there that make it, I, I feel, a bit more of a punch. The Fuel Air Bomb is... Maybe as devastating, it's more devastating than Carpet Bomb. <clears throat> the more centralized damage is something I really appreciate about that. Uh, right there is fine. I notice these timers are off. <clears throat> two and a half plus two and a half is supposed to be five. But this artillery barrage seems to be done a little faster than normal. I didn't kill it. See? That drives me crazy. That drives me absolutely bonkers. That should be go Oh, thank you. Satellite hack. There's the last dozer. Or that's a dozer. I'm not going to hunt the dozers until I take out the command center. To which I can't take out the command center because there's all these Gatlings all over the place. <laughs> I don't know why I just used that voice. But yeah, I don't know what's up with this dozer. Uh, you know what? I could probably carpet bomb it. I'm going to carpet bomb that dozer. I'm going to artillery barrage the command center and see what that does for me. Hey, if you want to fast forward to the end of the episode, I don't mind. <laughs> this uh, this could be a while. And I, I don't really like to fast forward if I don't have to. I don't think it's cheating or, or whatever, but it's just not for me. In some cases I might, but meh. What else can we build? What a really sweet air force. Do I have enough room for that? No, not really. Oh, attacking? No, you're not. Gosh, I wish I could just go nuclear. Two nukes would clean this all out for me. I don't care if it's ready. I can't use it. Sad face. Okay, I was almost hoping the dozer would come up, but that's okay. I still want this power plant out of here, and hopefully that'll take him under. If it does, then I could use my carpet bomber to take out more power plants like this. Use my artillery to concentrate on other stuffs, but we'll see. 
still online. Still online. Holy crap. Nothing. Nothing, hombre. $154,000. Eh, what the heck. I really have to spend my money on something. It's literally driving me crazy. It's figuratively driving me insane, but it's literally driving me crazy. Yes. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I just have loose dozers everywhere, ready to respond to any repair call. And you guys are leveling up all right now. Two chevrons. Very cool. I should get some serious props for not using all these general power tanks. Um, <clears throat> let's make that abundantly clear. Yeah, let's set up another hacky node right there. I have all the upgrades, right? Like, there's not an upgrade or something I'm missing. The only thing I'm really missing is mines. Coming into the fold, brothers. Was that twenty? Four, 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 four. Was that six fours? One, two, three, four, five, six. Twenty-four. That's awesome. This command center and that dozer are gone. Well, I have vision. Do I see any other dozer or anything? I see no dozer on the battlefield. That goes away. No system is safe. No system is safe. That's enough. That'll do it. Excellent. Now I hope the command center does not build another dozer. I'm hoping I didn't just trigger some code for it to build another one. If it did, that's my own dumb fault, and I should have timed this better. Hope you don't mind, I'm just going to kind of stare at this thing for a minute. No? Good. Are the hackers all built? We're getting there. Or trained, I should say, not built. You train workers, you build machines. Yeah, if I shut this down, I win. Because he cannot possibly attack me. I'm sitting on two nukes. I'm sitting on 24 tanks I'm not using. Yeah. Okay. That's another, what, 18 hackers I'm about to deploy? There you are. You guys group around this a little bit better? Come on, you can do it. Perfect. And deploy. You know, I'd like to add a little bit of code if I was a good coder or whatever. If there's five or more hackers within a, I don't know, 10 meter vicinity. I don't, I don't know how this works. I don't know how this is spaced or whatever. But you hear one saying, what's a Wi-Fi password? Or just shouting something like, my, my connection died. Or just something like whatever. 404, I'll show you a 404, or, you know, something. Something to lighten it up or whatever. That takes care of that. With him completely shut down of being able to construct new structures, I win. Boof. He's got nothing, no mo. He ain't got nothing, no mo. Um, I could concentrate on power. I could concentrate on, let's do this supply stash, the supply drop right there. That would be cool. There's only two gats in the way. I should be able to take that out. Emphasis on should. Unit lost. Really? Dang. 
That was disappointing as crap. I'm running out of room to put all these tanks. Okay. So, rule of thumb is if the enemy has no means of producing money or units or structures, they'll shut down. Now, that's inclusive, or how do I want to phrase that? Um, if they can't make money and they can't produce structures, they'll sell out. If they can make money but nothing else, they'll sell out. Like, it, it's, it's a combination of the three. It's building structures, building units, and collecting income. So if I just take out the supply centers, the little supply stashes, we should be okay, mission accomplished. Because in that way, he can collect money, or he can no longer collect money, but he can build stuff, and I can't attack that directly either. Super duper lame sauce. Oh, there must be a bunch of Rocketeers or something in here. What is this, the Badger Bomber? I don't know what kind of plane drops that stuff. It's not a C-130. C-130 is the American bomber, air, not bomber, uh, payload aircraft. I don't know what you'd call it, but yeah. Uh, the waiting. Where is the battle? There's so many good tanks. <laughs> We're coming up to a quarter million, kids. I don't know, in this game especially, oops. The Chinese economy always felt to me like it was the most fragile. I really loved the Shockwave mod. The Shockwave mod, in my mind, really gave the Chinese economy something really solid. Uh, just clean all that out, please. No system is safe. Give my plane half a chance to get down this lane. That would be awesome. Unit lost. Thank you. That helped out a bunch. Super bunch. Considering the only way they can really get cash, back to my other thought that I just derailed, the only way they can get cash are these things? These infantry units? Ugh. GLA in the United States have structures, which is far better, a lot more hit points, some form of armor, and on top of that, GLA has the ability to get money per kill. Like, that's that makes perfect sense for GLA as a class, you know, as a as an army. That makes perfect sense. But I really wish China had some other way to get a different income or more income in a different manner or I don't care if it's build a structure and it gives me a dollar a second or something really small as long as it's something. Well, these infantry can be ruined by one pathfinder. That's a problem. You know, you got to protect these guys so much and they don't stealth. I don't think these guys are stealth. Only the infantry general has stealth hackers, I believe? Quote me or don't quote me on that. I'm not sure. Either way, it gets problematic is the point I'm trying to get to. So what do we do? Let's plan out. Carpet bomb up here. Artillery barrage. This thing. Really start to work this over. More tanks. No system is safe. Unit under attack. Oh, right. More tanks. I really hate how bad the aiming is with that. That drives me nuts. <laughs> you show that tree, dude. No system is safe. Get out of here, forest. Now, if I had Black Lotus, this would be easier as well, but nopes. That's okay. I'm just going to spend the next 30 minutes complaining about the challenge. <laughs> Sorry. I don't mean to be a complainer. Oh, magnificent. 
That was magnificent. Take out the supply, we're done. I'm thinking that'll wrap this up nice. Oh, and the oil derrick in the south. Um, you know what? I don't know if the computer will take the oil derrick into consideration when it is, can you gather money? And the question is, can you gather money, not are you gathering money? So this supply depot right here is preventing them. Supply center, I can never get the names right. This supply center is actually preventing them from selling out anyway. So it's a can you, not a are you. If that makes sense. I hope it does. Right here. So many tanks. <laughs> you know what? All in all, this has been a very relaxing challenge. I do appreciate the relaxing ones. I've gotten so many challenges where it's like, do a one versus nine. And I'm like, oh my God, there's not even 10 slots in the game. You want me to do what? <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> I'm not that good of a player. Are you serious? No way. I just want all the propaganda all over the propaganda place, all the propaganda time. And we've easily surpassed that quarter million. What did I build? Oh, right. <laughs> More speaker towers. Construction built to spec. We have big plans. Oh, there's a little black before it. I thought that was already smoking. I'm like, why did you build it on fire? That's a silly thing to do, Dozer. It's a silly, silly thing to do. Okay, what do I want a carpet bomb? Like, more of this stuff, yeah? But this thing barely made it past. So I guess, uh, this? Oh, yeah, that'll help. Clean that out. And I know there's some rocket infantry in here. Perfect. Oh, got the barracks a bit too. Quite nice, quite nice. Who's gonna be the lucky Gatling turret? <laughs> All of them at once, fantastic. Okay, I'm going to put it on the power plant. I expect it to show up over here based on what we've seen before, right? Oh, is that not clutch? I didn't... Oh, it's just a little too high, but I, I got it. I got it now. It's just it's really deceiving with the tank drop. You know, you, I'm. it's a crosshair. It's a circle. I want them right here, but nope. I'm just going to put them way back here. Dumb. That's what it is. Just dumb. <laughs> I love that. I really wish they had promoting sounds too. Not the not the normal Chevron upgrade sound, but I wish they had voices like, Thanks for the promotion, sir. The chairman smiles on me. What a promotion. Like just something something off the cuff like that I think would be really cool. Get this out of here, and I'm hoping for a sellout. If they don't sell out, I gotta blow up all those production structures, too. Oh, wait, that's right. We're experimenting to see if that counts. The oil derrick. If you're not familiar, the oil derrick does provide some, uh, some resources over time. Usually, I give about a 30-second count for the enemy to check whether or not they're gonna sell out. Like, I don't expect it to happen immediately, but like within, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds is when they'll decide whether or not they're going to do it. It looks like they flashed red for a second there. Okay, looks like they're still making money. Let's move forward with this. I highly doubt that will destroy it. I'm sure I'm going to have to hit it up maybe one more time. It's funny, some of these civilian structures like oil derricks, which you might think are very combustible, 
are more more susceptible to damage than some of the other structures that are actual structures. Yeah. Oh, I got it. Awesome. Ooh, very good. Still, that took some beating. So now, the question is, can the enemy get any more money? No. Can the enemy build structures to get more money? The answer is no. The enemy should sell out. And if you're not familiar, that's when the enemy goes and sells all their structures. Unfortunately, yep, there we go. There's the sellout. We are victorious. That's when, yeah, so anyway, the sellout is, like I said, the computer asks themselves like the three or four questions. Can we make money? Are we making money? Can we build structures to make more money? And same thing with vehicles. Can we build vehicles or infantry or anything? No. Can we build a vehicle or something to build more buildings to build more vehicles? No. Fudge it. I'm out. Sold. So it's it was something that was implemented, I think, in Red Alert 2 or something? Um, either way, it makes it so the game just doesn't go on and on and on. If the computer determines there's no way to win, I like it as a feature. But anyway, that being said, thank you very much, the Tesla69. <clears throat> My name is John Megacycle, and I'm calling this a done challenge. Thank you all for showing up and watching and hanging out with me for a bit. I appreciate it. And I hope to see you next time.